Hi friends, my name is Bharat D, URK 20 CS2113. Today we are going to see exercise number 4 in Software Engineering Lab. It is a class diagram. The aim of the program in the program given to me is to draw a UML class diagram for online voting system or e voting system. Let's see the description. The first main subtitle in the description is a class. A class is, a class is depicted using a rectangle divided into three sessions. This is an example of that. The top section is the name of the class. Here is this part is called as the name of the class. The middle section defines the properties of the class. The middle section, this part uh, depicts the properties of the class. The bottom section lists the method of the class. Here, this part uh, and depicts the uh, method of the class. Then comes the association. An association is a generic relation between two classes, which is moduled by a line connecting two classes. If the first class is uh, if uh, let's take an online voting system and uh, let's go to the diagram if the online uh, it is a class it is a class called vote and it is class called uh, candidate this is the association line and this is uh, used to connect two classes this is used to connect two classes then comes the multiplicity indicators these are the indicators that has been used here then the composition if a class does not exit by itself it instead must be a member of an another class then the class has a composition relationship with the another class containing a class then comes the dependency dependency is a direct relation which is used to show some uml elements to set of elements required it depicts the direct uh, relationship between two classes it is used using dotted uh, lines like this uh, if this is the main class it's like a subclass or a uh, next uh, class after this then comes the aggregation aggregation indicates the old part relationship known as uh, has a relationship an aggregation relationship is indicated by a line with a hollow diamond here comes generalization generalization relationship is equivalent and inheritance relationship in object terms in a relationship a generalization relationship is indicated by an arrow with an hollow arrow then let's go to the scenario of the program. The scenario of the program is the explanation of the diagram. I'll explain this scenario uh, using this diagram. This is the online voting system. Here are uh, the main classes that are needed in the online voting system. First one is the voter, then the cast vote, then the candidate, then the admin, the profile of the voter, the voters, the voting server and the result. These are the main components uh, used in a class diagram uh, for online voting system. I'll explain you this. If first a voter needs to be eligible for vote, the first thing he needs is a voter ID, voter password, voter name. Uh, voter password and voter name is required because it is an online voting system. Then he can cast uh, the two uh, works that can be done by the voter are he can cast a vote and view the result. This, uh, this is the work of the voter. Then uh, we pass it to a cast vote. If the candidate ID, voter ID is uh, valid, then it gives a time step like a particular time to place the vote. Then uh, the cast vote, uh, the works done by the voter are only two votes. He can only submit the vote or cancel the vote. None other things can be done by the voter. Uh, if it is being done like that, then it would be considered as a mall practice. Then comes to a candidate, a candidate who take parts in the election as a candidate. Uh, he needs a candidate ID, candidate name and which party does he belong to and which uh, which symbol does he stand in the election. These are the main, uh, main things for a candidate. The two things that a candidate can do is a submit nomination and cancel nomination. Other than that, uh, he can do, uh, uh, he can ask for votes for the voters but that, that does not come under online voting system. Uh, so let's move on to the admin. The admin plays a main role in here. Uh, the admin uh, the admin checks the voter ID and the voter number and he gives the authentication for the voter uh, to whether he can vote or what. And the only thing he can do is submit report, uh, get data from the voter and candidate and submit the report to the voter profile. Uh, if the voter profile is correct, the voter ID, password, name and voter information are correct then he is free to go to vote and view the result. Then uh, the admin passes uh, it to the voting server. The voting server uh, verifies the voter ID candidate if these are correct and he, as he voted in the correct timeline or correct timestamp and he counts the vote and counts the total number of vote. He is like a calculator which counts the total number of votes and displays the result. 
uh, the things that he can do is send reports by time to time that uh, how the votes are being calculated and count votes and he passes it to the uh, result and uh, the re this result class is uh, to inform which candidate has won and which party that uh, candidate belongs to and he, uh, it gets the vote count from the voting server and displays it. This is how this voting system is being done. Uh, thank you. And uh, here, uh, here are the functionalities of the classes. Uh, these are the main functionalities of the classes. The voter uh, cast vote candidate, uh, voter profile, admin vote, voting server, and the result. These are the main classes. I've explained to you. These are, these are the works done by these classes. And this is how the program is done. Thank you.